Good day once again, great and friends. So now we are down with our last lesson in probability. And it will be all about the dependent and independent events. So we are going to still deal with um, more than one event. So first, let's have this. Two events may happen, happen at the same time or one another. The events are independent if the occurrence of that of the first event does not affect that of the second. So, kung baga po, in our uh, dependent and indi uh, independent events, sa independent events, kapag po, uh, ginawa natin yung first event, so hindi po nito maapektuhan yung second event. So, otherwise, it will be a dependent event. Ayan. So, let's have this, the probability of the intersection of two independent events. So, if, if event A and event B are independent events in a sample space, then the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So the keyword here for in our dependent and independent event is and. So dun po sa mutually exclusive I or sa, probability, uh, sa dependent at independent naman po I and. Although there will be times po na uh, hindi po natin makikita yung word na and. So instead we have to um, comprehend kung Yung bang event na yun ay for dependent or uh, dependent independent or for mutually exclusive or not. So let's have for this example. A bag contains four blue marbles, three white marbles, and five red marbles. So two marbles are drawn at random with replacement. So ibig sabihin po, pagkabunot po ng isa, ano isang marble, Ibabalik po ulit yung marble na nabunot na yon. So, we can say that uh, this problem is an independent event since hindi po maapektuhan yung susunod na event kasi po ibinabalik yung marble. So, for this problem, we are going to find the probability that the first ball is red then the second uh, marble is blue. Pagaya po ng, uh, kung baga ginagawa na, ginawa natin in our previous lesson, then identify na po natin siya kung siya yung Dependent. So this is an independent event, kaya po ang gagamitin natin as is yung multiplication lang po ng probability ng A at B. Then, identify po natin yung probability ng red. So unahin po natin yung probability ng red. So since there are five red marbles, so that will be our numerator. And then for the denominator, ilangin lang po natin kung ilan lahat yung laman ng bag na yun. So we have four plus three plus five will give us an answer of 12 uh, marbles. So all in all, sa loob po ng bag na yun, we have 12 marbles and 5 of them are red. Hence, the probability of red is equal to 5 over 12. Next naman po is yung probability ng blue. So ang numer uh, denominator po natin is 12 pa din kasi po pagkabunot po ng isang, uh, kumbaga ng isang marble, ibabalik po ulit natin siya dun sa bag. Kaya po kompleto pa rin at 12 marbles yung nilalaman ng bag. And then based on our given probability or there are four blue marbles in the bag. So we can say that um, the probability of blue is 4 over 12 or in simplest term, it will be 1 over 3. So since this is an independent and independent uh, dependent event, we are going to multiply po yung dalawang uh, probabilities. So we have the probability of red and blue is equal to 5 over 12 times 1 over 3. So although wala po yung word na n, uh, masabi po pa rin po natin na siya ay uh, independent event since uh, they are succeeding events, magkasunod na event, pero hindi po maapektuhan noong uh, first event, yung pangalawang event. So we are going to multiply them, 5 over 12 times 1 over 3, it will give us an answer of 5 over 36. Hence, in this problem, the probability of getting uh, a red ball in the first um, peak, then the blue ball in the second peaking is 5 over 36. Let's have another example. We are going to find the probability of tossing a pair of dice and getting a three on each one. So we have here two uh, dice. And then pag tinos po natin ano yung probability na three yung makukuha natin sa bawat isa.
So para po dun sa unang dice, uh, die natin, so ilan lamang ba yung three na meron sa dice na yun? So we only have there one, uh, three, that's why our numerator is one. And then for the second dice, so since um, hindi naman maapektuhan noong ng first event yung second event, parehas pa rin naman po siyang kumbaga may uh, three. So ganun pa rin po yung ating denominator na six. So our probability of three on the other dice, is still 1 over 6. So since this, this is an independent event, so pag mumultiplyin lang po natin yung probability ng dalawang dice, it is 1 over 6 times 1, so, uh, 1 over 6, it will give us an answer of 1 over 36. Hence, the probability of tossing a pair of dice and getting a 3 on each one is 1 over 36. Or kung paga sa, uh, Sa pairings po natin, doon sa ating probability, there are 36 possible outcomes at isa lamang po doon yung may 3, 3 or yung uh, parehas 3 yung lalabas. And last example for uh, independent event. So for, from a group of 5 boys and 6 girls, a committee is to be formed consisting of 4 members. What is the probability that the committee will consist of two boys and two girls? So we have here the word, the keyword and. So this will be a dependent event. And aside from uh, the probability, you also need your knowledge about the combination. So since uh, we are dealing with the committee. So unahin po muna natin yung sa two boys natin. So we have five boys and then ang kailangan lang po natin ay two boys. So five, uh, C2 or five taken two is equal to the number of ways that the boys can be represented. And then we also have yung combination naman po for girls. So we have six girls and then ang kailangan lang po natin ay two girls. That's why we have here six C2 or six taken two. And then yung last naman po natin, uh, yung 11 C4. So bakit po natin i-identify yung 11 C4 or 11 taken four? Kasi yun po yung ating magiging denominator. So saan po ba galing yung 11 taken 4? So yung 11 po natin ay uh, yung, yung total po ng ating options, 5 and 6 girls. So 5 plus 6, it will give us an answer of 11. And then, yung 4 po naman natin ay yung ilan po yung members ng committee. So yung, yung dalawang lalaki, saka yung dalawang babae, kaya po siya naging 4. So ibig sabihin po yung total combination po natin, for two boys and two girls, given that there are five boys and six girls, is 11 C4 or 11 taken 4. So now, for, uh, for the probability of boys and uh, two boys and two girls, multiply lang po natin yung 5 taken 2 at saka 6 taken 2. Then after you multiply, i-divide naman po siya natin doon sa 11 taken 4. So parang uh, it is the same pa din naman po sa ating probability in the previous examples. So, uh, all in all, our, our answer will be 5 over 11. Hence, the probability of the committee to com uh, comprise of two boys and two girls is 5 over 11. And we put our probability. Next naman po is the probability of the intersection of two dependent events. So, when the outcome of one event affects the outcome of the second event. If event A and event B are dependent events in a sample space, then the probability of A and B is equal to the prob uh, probability of A and the probability of B following A. So, ganun pa rin naman po, we are still going to identify if it is, uh, if it has the word N or kung siya ba ay para dependent or independent, uh, independent event. And so, let's have this example po para mas maintindihan natin. So a bag contains four blue marbles, three white marbles, and five red marbles. Two marbles are drawn at random without replacement. So ibig sabihin po, pagkabunot po ng isang bola, hindi na po siya ibabalik doon. So maapektahan na po yung ilang ng uh, bola natin sa pagkabunot natin. So we are going to find the probability that the first ball is red, then the second is blue. So this is almost the same po in our pre uh, previous example. Ang pinagkaiba lamang po, dun sa unang example natin, meron uh, siyang replacement. So pagkabunot ng bola ay binabalik. Pero for this example po ay, pagkabunot po ng isang marble, hindi na po siya ibabalik dun sa bag. 
Ayan. So, this is a uh, dependent event. And then, next po ay, identify po muna natin yung event A natin. So, our event A here is, uh, yung first ball daw po ay red dapat. So, ano yung probability na red marble yung mabubunot natin? So, ganun pa rin po, ilan lahat yung marbles? We have 12 marbles kasi we have 4 plus 3 plus 5. And then, since we have 5 red marbles, so that will be our numerator. So, after natin ma-identify yung probability ng first event, next naman po ay yung second event. So, dito na po nagkaroon ng, uh, kumbaga, pagkakaiba doon sa independent so since nabunot na po na, nakakuha na po tayo ng isang bola, our denominator here will be 11 na po. Nabawasan na po ng isang red marble yung ating uh, bag. And uh, our blue marbles here are 4. Kaya po yun yung ating numerator. So again, the probability na blue yung mapubunot is 4 over 11. So 11 kasi po nabawasan na ng isang uh, marble yung bag. Kasi nabunot na po siya dun sa una. And after po noon, so ganun pa rin po, i-multiply lang po natin yung probability ng red at saka blue. So we have here 5 over 12 times 4 over, uh, over 11. It will give us an answer of 5 over 33. So yun po yung ating, uh, for example, ng uh, dependent event. So nagkaroon po ng changes kasi po uh, naapektuhan nung first event yung second event. Nakadepende yung second event in sa ating first event. That's why it's called as dependent events. Let's have another example. So you randomly select two cards from a standard deck of 52 cards. These two cards. So what is the probability that the first card is not a face card and the second card is a face card if you do not replace the, fir uh, the first card? Ayan, so, so kung baka po pagkabunot natin sa first card, uh, hindi na po natin ibabalik yung card na yun. Okay, so first, uh, identify muna natin kung ilan yung face, uh, yung hindi po face card. So dun sa ating card, we have from face hanggang 9, we have 10 cards sa bawat, uh, sa bawat diamond, uh, heart, spade, at saka club. So we have 40 cards that are not king, queen, or jack. Or in the term, it is 10 over 13. So 52, all in all, 52 cards in the uh, standard deck of uh, 52 cards. So next naman po, is yung probability na uh, face card po yung mapabunot natin and hindi po natin ibabalik yung una natin nabunot. So ilan po lahat yung face card natin? So we have 12 face cards and nagkaroon po ng changes doon sa ating um, denominator. Since uh, nabunot na po natin yung isang card, instead na ang ating denominator ay 52, magiging 51 na po siya kasi yung isang card na po ay nakuha na natin dun sa ating unang draw. Hence, for the probability na not a face card, then face card po is 10 over 13 times 12 over 51. Our answer here is 120 over 663. So, this will be our final answer. And so that is all about our dependent and independent events. So if you have any questions or clarifications regarding the topic, message me on your subject picture. So good day, everyone. God bless and keep safe.